orange. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lux Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? Today's video is, um, I'm sure you've noticed I've dyed my hair back to, I guess, my natural hair color. And when I got it done, originally I thought my natural hair color was honestly lighter. And so when I got it done, like, yes, I think it's beautiful, but it's, it's, it's darker than I thought it was going to be. It's not that I don't like it. It's just, I don't, I don't love it. And although I don't necessarily want to go back to completely blonde, there has been a hair color that I've actually been really in love with for a while. It is this like front bleach part. I believe it kind of came from TikTok and e-girl aesthetic. I don't know. I don't have TikTok. I am a grandma here. I feel like it's a really awesome like combination of like blonde and not blonde. So the plan for today is to take this hair and basically just bleach these front bits. You know, every person that I've seen it on, I've loved. I mean, maybe I will be that person where it doesn't look good. I don't know. I think I'm going through an identity crisis right now. That's what today's video is going to be. Actually, when I first started doing YouTube, I did hair dyeing videos. So this is a little ode to my past. I'm at Sally's. We're going to get some bleach and toner and I'm really like scared. <laughs> I got the goods. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, so this is what we are starting with. And the thing is like, I don't hate it or anything. I just, I, I want some pizzazz to it. Now I do have to go down to my apartment complex office to change something with the lease in about an hour. And so I may bleach them and then go do that, come back, then do my toner, cause I got a toner. Sally's haul. I literally haven't dyed my own hair in years. And so I had to literally just get all this stuff. I ended up doing the Color Charm Wella Lightener just because under this brown is platinum blonde. And so I don't want to go too intense, but I did do a 30 developer. I then, okay, T18 by Wella. I know a lot of people don't like it. I don't think it's the best toner in the world, but it's just what I had available at the time. Although they didn't have it. And so the Sally's employee recommended this generic brand. It, this is going to be a hot mess. I already know it. I don't know how much like too much is or too little is. I mean, is that enough? Like right there? The hard part is like, I can't draw a straight line. And so I'm scared it's not going to be straight, which it probably won't be. Is that too much hair? I feel like that's a good amount. Like it has my veins in it, but then it has some other parts. Is that even? No, that's not even. It's not even like a little bit. I just feel like this one has way more like length to it, but I feel like they are even. Whew. Whew. So let's mixy mix. You can do one pack and then two ounces of this. What's funny is this isn't like even that big of a deal, like what I'm doing to my hair, but yet I'm going to make an entire video just because when I changed my hair to this color, I felt like it was a big change that I didn't realize. And then I like didn't really mention it or anything. It just kind of like happened. So I felt obligated to make this video. How long did it say to keep it on there? Check five to 10 minutes. I feel like 30 minutes will be good. I'll do kind of the ends and then the roots part. Mixy, mixy. I've actually only bleached my own hair once. Well, I've done like with a box dye when I was in high school, but I actually like got like true bleach from Sally's. I think after I had black hair, which I, ooh, just not good. I vowed to myself that I would never bleach my hair again myself. And here we are. <laughs> Literally, I did a Q&A on my Instagram, which is at Alex and Shine 83. And I said in that, which was only two days ago, that I would never put bleach on my hair ever again, like in general. And here we are. I can't believe I'm doing this. I put it on. Wow, this is actually really hard to do yourself. I literally, I can't see. Okay, I'll put it in foils after because I, I literally can't see. <sighs> One time, and this was with a hairdresser. She got bleach on my eyelash. She never realized it. And I, I didn't realize until after I, I had gotten my hair done that I just had like half of my eyelashes were bleached. <laughs> they were like white. It happens. Since I'm just putting it on the front parts, like I feel like I can be really generous with the amount because 
Like I'm, I have all this bleach for just this part. So we will put it in foil right now. No, I got bleach on my eyebrow. No. Okay, so the sectioning, we have given up. The sectioning is over. The thing that I'm scared about the most is if there's parts where I don't get bleach on. Like that would just kill me. Like once you do it, it doesn't seem that scary. Once you put it on, you're just like, okay, let's go for it. Okay, so let's do like 10 minutes. Hey Siri, start a 10 minute timer. Okay. I am scared of my hair like falling out right there, but I mean, if it's in the front, I don't know, you can, I feel like this almost works. I actually, I don't think I said this, but I actually did the color oops, like hair color remover on a strand of my hair and it did not, it did not go well. Once I did that, I realized, no, just don't touch your hair. Well, I mean, all right, it's been about 10 minutes. I have a full on, foil to do like one big foil for my roots because I feel like that'll be easier. Also, like I can't imagine having this for like 20 minutes. So let's open these babies up. So this is what she's, eh, this is what she's looking like. So let's put it all together. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some unevenness. Wow. Okay. I have literally no idea what I'm doing. I'm so embarrassed. I used to be like pretty good with like hair dye. Wow, this is a terrible application. Yeah, I used to be pretty good with hair dye, but then, you know, got off the game. Yeah, I definitely should have had someone help me. I thought this was gonna be like easy because it seems like the easiest way to like do something crazy, also not crazy to your hair. I'm trying to get as close to my scalp as possible without like getting it on my scalp. Nice and gentle with my hair. I feel like this is gonna be like in a horror movie when like, you know, the main character is about to do something that's gonna get them killed and you're just like screaming. Like, don't do it, don't do it. I feel like that's how I am gonna be when I'm rewatching this. Woo, okay, so I'm gonna wait 20 minutes and then take a look at how this is going. <laughs> I mean, this works. 20 minutes and counting. Oh, I have three minutes left on the timer, and from what I can see from my roots, it um, it doesn't look good. <laughs> I may have to bleach it again, which I was not prepared for. Technically only did the roots for 20 minutes, which all of the things said to bleach your hair for 30 minutes, but you're supposed to do the ends of your hair, or should I have I done it with, I don't really know, but from what I see right now, I don't know if you can see it, like it just looks so yellow. I don't know if necessarily a toner would work on that because I want it to be like white, white. And especially like the T18, I know you have to have a certain like level of blonde for it to do anything. So I don't know, do I like try it anyway? And then if need be, then I get more bleach. I don't, wow, okay. Really yellow, is that normal? And then I'm gonna have to go and like, it's not gonna be toned yet and I have to go to the apartment complex. This is why you do not do this in a hurry. I was just like, I have to do it now. Sometimes I get into this like manic state of like needing to do something like right then and there. And if I don't, I think about it every second of every day until I do it. Yeah, that's what happened. So yeah, I'm just gonna honestly put water on it. It looks really yellow. Oh no. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> it's orange. You know, you watch these videos and girl's hair turns orange and you're like, what do they do wrong? You no, know, that would never happen to me. And then it happens to you. So this is what it's looking like. Honestly, okay, I don't like the shade that it is right now, but I'm actually really happy I did this. Here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I have some bleach left. I think I'm going to dry this, then put the bleach on again just for 10 minutes because if I put the toner on now, I feel like it's just not gonna do anything. So let's blow dry the hair and then add the bleach and hope it does not fall out. Hmm, let's just go for it. Let's, oh, it's just 10 minutes. I'm so scared that my hair is gonna fall out. It's happened before. Actually, many times. My hair has fallen out many times from bleach. And that's not even from doing it myself. Think that's good? Think it'll do? 10 minutes. Just waiting. It's time. I gotta, gotta go for it. Okay, actually, it looks like a really like even shade. I'm very surprised, I guess. I don't know. Let's just wash it out. You know, I don't, I, I don't think it got better. Let's do the toner and then just like be done with this already. Oh, I'm really scared about this. It's kind of going green. Buying the uh, knockoff probably was not a good idea. Yeah, I'll see ya in uh, 
20 minutes. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. I did brush my hair and put in leave-in conditioner thing. I did end up putting a purple shampoo on it just because when I washed out the toner, I realized it was still really yellow because I only left it on for 20 minutes because I was scared it was so dark. They, they say it's gonna be dark and you're fine. Like it'll rinse out. The worst that will happen is it will turn purple, but I was terrified. So I ended up putting purple shampoo because I looked in the mirror when it was like full on wet after I washed out the toner and I just like freaked out. I don't know what that looks like. So I'm going to see. Okay, you know what? It's not terrible. Like really, it's not terrible. It just looks really orange right now because it's probably really orange. I love the silver purple shampoo by Fudge, but they don't sell it in any stores near me. So I have to buy it online. So when I have platinum hair, it was just the best. Whereas this one, I forgot what I use. I think I use like Paul Mitchell. It's okay. It's definitely not my favorite. I tried it when I had blonde hair and I was like, eh, it's okay. But it was just what I had in the shower. I may blow dry it and then show you guys what it looks like all finished and done. Wow. I honestly, I can't believe I did this. Okay. This is the finished look okay honestly this was the best decision for my hair that i have made i know again it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea some of you might absolutely hate it but i i absolutely love it i'm very into this kind of like chunky look it doesn't look natural but it's with natural colors so it's a little bit more wearable now i don't think it's like a unique you know hairstyle or hair dye to have i feel like everyone has it right now but personally i just absolutely love it on myself although i still severely need some like toning for it because it's a little bit yellow. I've already ordered something and it's coming on Friday. I'm feeling so much happier about it. I, I don't know. Hair is just hair. It really doesn't matter, especially right now. There's so much going on in the world, but it's just been something where I, I just felt not me with the full on brown. This is just like a little bit of sunshine in there. My only regret is honestly not doing more. I wish I would have done kind of this full section. So even under here and maybe when I do my roots, maybe I'll do that part or maybe I won't. I don't know. But yeah, that is today's video. I was going through a true like identity crisis and I feel like I've just found myself again. Honestly, like midway through bleaching it, I was regretting everything. And you know, I'm glad I stuck through it. If you guys would like to continue to see my face, then make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, alexandrine 83 to keep up to date with me during the week. And I will also update you on how the purple shampoo that I purchased does with my hair. If it makes a difference, fingers crossed it does because it just, it just needs a little bit of help. I, I, I can admit that it needs some help. Anyway, I hope you guys have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I'll love you lots. Bye!